Good afternoon, folks. We're going to hit a couple things here. A fun thing I just did. Answering the question I've got about 200 times in the last day. And a quick note about this morning's articles. So first, you guys know who this is? That's me and Zach Voorhees, the Google whistleblower. Been a fan of his for several years now, and he is a suspicious observer as well. He says hello to all of you, by the way. And to all government agents, I swear we just talked about fishing and cheeseburgers and not about anything you'd want to hear. Up next, so many of you asking about this video recently posted where the new MIT science is visualized regarding how light is all you need for evaporation, independent of heat. Well, it's excellent science, but many of you already heard about it in our morning show from late April. Yes, we covered that one about six or seven weeks ago when the study came out. It is legit. Lastly, folks, we covered two solar health forcing studies this morning on heart rate variability and leukemia. And despite my pinned comment on the video, we still have academically challenged type happy internet jackalopes yelling that it's not the sun, it's the vaccine. So what, cancer and heart issues didn't exist before 2020? One does not preclude the other. Both of these studies cover time periods before COVID occurred, and if you are going to be at this channel, you need to be smarter than that kind of commentary and thinking. Yeah, the jabs are not good. Doesn't stop the electromagnetic impact of the sun from affecting our cells, organs, brain function, and many other things. Right now, and for the remainder of the evening, my eyes are on the solar wind. We are expecting a glancing blow CME impact, and I'm keen to see how our magnetic field handles that impact. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.